The Holy Tales. Now that you're awake, can we please listen to another parable? Please? Please, Holy. Pretty, please. <laughs> of course, I'm going to tell you a new parable from the Bible. Today's parable is the lost sheep. Long time ago, there lived a shepherd who had a flock of hundred sheep. The shepherd loved all his sheep very dearly and was very fond of each and every one of them. He loved them so much that he even named them. Every night before going to sleep, he would count all his sheep to make sure that all hundred sheep were there. Every day, the shepherd would take his sheep to large green fields where they could eat fresh grass and would also take them to fresh water streams so that they could have a nice drink when they were thirsty. When the shepherd took his sheep to the fields, he was always alert of the dangerous animals like lions and bears who would often come to attack or hurt them. But the shepherd was very careful and very protective of his sheep and would chase away the dangerous animals. One day, when the shepherd took his sheep out in the field, one of the sheep wandered away. When the shepherd counted his sheep, he found only 99. He was frightened. He called out for the sheep by his name but the sheep did not return. He frantically looked for the sheep below the deep valley and behind the bushes, but he was nowhere to be found. The shepherd was very sad. He sat down on a rock and cried for his missing sheep when he suddenly heard a bleating. He looked around and saw his lost sheep walking towards him. The shepherd ran to the sheep and picked him up in his arms. He was very, very happy. With all his hundred sheep, the shepherd came back home. The story was nice, but did you understand the meaning of it? Of course I did! This parable means that each and every single person is important in God's heaven. No one person is most important or least important. God loves everyone equally. Well done, Tubby. That's exactly what Jesus tried to explain to his followers through the story. All right then. Thank you, Holy, for the wonderful story. The Holy Tales You're going to tell us one of Jesus' stories, aren't you, Holy? Yes, and today I am going to tell you the parable of the unforgiving servant. One day, Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, came to Jesus and asked him, Lord, how many times should I forgive someone when they do or say something wrong to me? Jesus knew that everyone should learn to forgive someone if they are sorry for what they have done. Instead of saying, always, Jesus said, Seventy-seven times. Peter was confused. So, Jesus decided to tell him a story which would help Peter understand better how important it is to forgive someone when they have realized their mistake and are sorry for their behavior. Jesus told Peter the story of a very rich king. The king had many servants who worked for him. Some of them looked after his treasury and were in charge of the other servants. One day, the king decided to test one of his servants who was looking after his money. He wanted to see if he was doing his job perfectly. 
so, the king went to check his treasury. When he checked, he saw that the servant had not paid the bills, instead had borrowed the money for his personal use. The amount of money that the servant had taken was not a small amount. The servant was in huge debt. So the king called for the servant. I know that you have taken money from the treasury without asking me. You have committed a crime for which you will be punished. I will sell your family and you as slaves and take back the money that you have taken. The servant was very upset. He knew that if his family and he were sold as slaves, they all would have to live in different places. They might not be able to see one another ever again. So the servant begged and pleaded for forgiveness. The king felt sorry for the servant. He decided to forgive him. He even told the servant that he did not have to give back the money to him. As soon as the servant left the court, he met another servant who owed him some money, a very small amount. Even though the king was nice to him, the servant grabbed hold of the other servant. He started shouting at him. Give me back the money you owe me, or else I will throw you into the prison. People saw the servant treating the other man this way and went and told the king. The king was very, very angry. He thought to himself, I forgave him a huge debt, but he could not forgive another man who owes him a small amount of money. He called for the servant once again and threw him into prison. So, did you children understand the meaning of the story? Yes! The story means that God always forgives us for all the wrong things we do to Him. Now He wants us to forgive those who do wrong to us. Well done, Tabby. That's exactly the meaning of the story. I hope you have understood the story too, Gumbo and Freckles. Oh yes, we have! Alright then. Hope you enjoyed and understood the story too. The Holy Tales Alright, today I am going to tell you a very interesting story. Does the story have a moral in it? Does God want us to learn something from the story? Yes, of course. Woohoo! Then go on with the story, Holy. Olivia was a young girl who lived with her mother, father and her little younger brother. One day, Olivia's mother called for her. Olivia? Please go and get some nice apples from the orchard. I am thinking of making some apple stew for your brother. Olivia loved going to the orchard, so she went. Olivia entered the orchard and looked at the beautiful apple trees filled with succulent red apples. She walked through the orchard with a basket and stopped under an apple tree. She looked up and saw the apples in this tree did not look very pleasing. They were dark in color, not very big. Some even had dark spots on them as if they were smashed. Some were pecked on by birds. These apples do not look nice at all. Let me go and check another tree. So she ignored the first tree and walked right ahead. Then she stopped under another tree which had bright red shiny apples. They were smooth and looked very pretty. Wow! These apples are so, so much better than the ones I saw earlier. I am going to take apples from here. Olivia picked out the apples, which she thought were the best ones. The big and round and the shiny ones. She couldn't wait to take them back home and eat them. With a basket full of apples, happily she went home. Look, Mom, I've 
got such nice looking apples. Her mother looked at the apples but did not say anything. She got a knife from the kitchen and cut one apple. To Olivia's surprise, the apple was rotten to the core. How could this happen? They are such nice looking apples. How can they be rotten from within? Olivia's mother took another apple and cut it open. This too was rotten, just like the other one. Olivia was very disappointed. Her mother picked her up on her lap and said, Olivia, let me tell you one thing. There are some things which look very nice and beautiful from outside. But that's only skin deep. Their goodness does not lie from within. The apples you thought were rotten from outside were probably the ones which were fresh and nice from inside. So you've got to learn to recognize something or someone's goodness from inside. So what is the moral of the story? That we should never judge a book by its cover. And that God wants us to go deeper inside to understand someone's goodness. And God does not want us to judge someone superficially. Excellent! Very well done, children! Yay! That was such a nice story! Thank you, Holy! We'll be back soon! Bye-bye! To watch more videos, please subscribe! trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the home.